I mean, this is all we got, but all right. Yeah, it's all you got, man. Hey, I mean, you 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 look different. Yeah, man. They gave you one of the jackets. It's like they gave me one of the jackets. Oh, honey. Yeah, mine don't got the patch on the back, but that's fine. I could have took that one. They said I, had, but I took this one. This one was pretty cool, I guess. Yeah, I was talking to the guy that was in there. He said uh, I could I could use that, and he was like, uh, if you guys are trying to make some money, they could also uh, hook us up to locations that can uh, like help deliver stuff. Oh yeah, I man. I, yeah. I mean, as long as we don't go back to jail, man. I'm tired. Yeah, that's I'm, 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 I'm tired of that fucking place, man. Me too, man. I don't want to go back. It's just the bullshit cops trying to trump us up with these fucking bullshit charges. I I heard that there's another guy from uh, I guess the I guess the lost his friends with the Vagos or whatever. Apparently they said that the cops are trumping up charges and putting fake rest reports in his fucking bio and whatnot. Yeah, I believe it. So they they, they, they might be LAPD bullshit, man. Yeah, they they might be trying to do the same stuff for us and whatnot. My eyes are a little like wonky right now. The driving don't seem legit, but it's all good, I guess. What's wrong with your eyes, man? I don't know. It was just like kind of like popping in and out here and there, but it is what it is. I can't drive because as soon as we get pulled over, they know who I am, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I feel you, man. Or I would say I would drive in an instant. I mean, I, I was even nervous to drive from Marcus's house, man, who randomly, I knocked on the door, wanted to ran away, man. I knocked on the door, and it turns out it was uh, Marcus, and man, and I was like, what? What the fuck are you doing here, man? He was like, what are you doing here? I'm like, running from the law, and then he grabbed me by my jacket, and he pulled me in. He's like, get in here, and he shut the door as quick as possible. And then, and then he made some calls, and I ended up at the lost, man. Shit. He was asking about you, man. I said, I don't know. Like, Dickie with the jail. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There goes that guy. Oh, yeah? Hey, as long as, I mean... I mean, they gave me a gun, man. If I gotta use it, I, I mean, I wanna. I don't want the cops to find out where we are, though, and go to jail. I'm, I'm just not sure what's up with my eyes. Like we keep popping, bro. I know what you're talking about. It's making for like a unlegit video right now, to be honest with you. I would say I drive if we get pulled over, we're gonna have to run right away, bro. As long as you don't mind doing that. Whoa, and these even, like, the locals are being weird, bro. What the fuck is going on, man? Seen, man, are you on drugs back there? Nope, I'm not on drugs, bro. It's basically on legit driving, apparently, from what I'm seeing in my eyes, but it's a little better, I guess, now, but I mean, I just don't know what the fuck's going on, to be honest with you. I really don't. You, maybe you smoked too much today, or whatever you had, man. It's... Maybe, I don't know, bro. I just know it's good to see you again, man. I was 
starting to miss you in the slammer and everything, man. Yeah, I was starting to miss you too because like I had a run, I and they took my house away, man, and then they're like I've been living at the laws, and now you're living there with me, and that's where we got to return. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to mention they told us that we got well, it's Friday right now, so we got to be back by Sunday. If not, they're gonna be sending some guys out to look for us because they they don't want us to go to jail, and they're trying to look after us because that uh, that's their job, I guess. Uh, Marcus paid uh paid them pretty good money to look after me, and now since Marcus knows you and everything you're gonna be getting paid money to be looked after as well by Marcus I guess right right so yeah man I understand so yeah they they, they just want to they just want what's best for us because they said that they even got bikers that had to come back at a certain time because like they're afraid that these cops are gonna take them and the leader the, the leader Johnny is actually one of the guys that has to come back at a certain time because like they're, they're after him. He, he, I guess he's. Uh, is it Johnny Clevitz guy? Yeah, I guess I guess he's wanted for being the most number one uh, wanted uh, biker gang member. Mm. Yeah. And then I guess number two, is some piece of shit from like uh, the Hell's Angels or whatever the hell they are called. Angels of death, man. I I, I try not to mess with them because they they Party don't. Party with them back in the day. I try not to mess with them because like they, they wouldn't do something like this where they're going to harbor us. And uh, no, these are the shits, man. I used to party with them before I ever met you, man. And that old man used to be a part of them, and he was a piece of shit, too. Yeah. They're not nice people. Yeah, they're not. I mean, these lost guys, they're nice, especially that Johnny letting you just come stay with us. Like, he just met you, man. Right. I mean, but yeah, we could go out. And we could, we could, we could either just drive around and maybe get like food or whatnot. I mean, I mean, we're protected and got a place to go, so it doesn't got to be like a real hectic uh, type of day. You know what I mean? I know, man. But I'm just trying to trying to keep cool today. But Johnny gave me these coordinates of some. I mean, go there and I mean, talk to some guy named Timmy. I mean, I mean, if we're gonna sell stuff, we could sell stuff. We just can't get caught, bro. I'm not trying to go back and plus, no, and plus no, 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 no. I understand. I understand. Plus, I got it. Plus, yeah. plus, I got a warrant. So then it's gonna be those charges yeah, plus running from yeah. the. That's gonna. I'm gonna be in there longer than you if they catch me. Yeah, that's not. That's no bueno either, my guy. Yeah, it's not, man. I'm not trying to go back. Like, they're fucking assholes in there. They got that fucking cap on. This ball cop came up to me and he was talking shit. And I was about to knock the cap off his bald ass head. <laughs> fucking asshole sitting there. Then there's this black cop that likes to sit there and make jokes. And he, he literally, when he took me to jail, man, the last time he had uh, he had the handcuffs on me. And then he said something. And then and then I, I said something back. And then he hit me. And I said, oh, yeah, you're going to hit me with the cuffs on? Take him off. And he hit me again. And he said, come on, fight back. You're talking all this stuff to me. Fight back. I'm like, yeah, cause you fucking hit me. You fucking abusing your power, fucking asshole. <clears throat> they just think they got that badge on, and they can do what they want. Yeah. Typical bullshit. Yep, it is typical. Oh, uh, there's a yellow car. I can't be in that thing. I've seen anywhere nearby that man. You gotta drive away from that yellow car that just went across. But no matter where we go, bro, I gotta stay in the car. I can't get out. It's fine, man. Yeah, I don't want to get seen by the police because I'm, I'm wanted, man. Are you Timmy? Or? Oh yeah, man. I, I was told by Johnny that uh, that you got some, you got some stuff that we can uh, you know uh, sell or something like that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, whatever, man. If, 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 if you get some of that glass, yeah. Uh, uh, no, yeah, the, the, the glass stuff.
Oh. Oh, oh, angel dust? Yeah, I'll take some of that too. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Me, I just, I, I just see, see, I can't have my buddy. Oh, you don't care? I get it. I get it. No, 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 no. I understand. Uh, yeah, man, I, I, I'll take some of that too. I know John said that you're a good guy, and we, you can hook us up. <laughs> where, 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 where do we take it to? Oh, to, to the. Yeah, but. No, no, I don't. I don't. Uh, uh, okay. Do you, do you have any weed? What kind of, what kind of fucking drug dealer doesn't have any, oh, my bad. Uh, don't shush me. Fucking bastard. Well, give me a little bit extra then, because if I'm trying to make some money. Oops. All right, later. Yeah. You could at least put it in the trunk for me, jackass. Yeah, what 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 what's going on out there? I can't really hear anything in the car, but I hear the commotion between him and that guy. Hopefully he's alright. I don't know who this guy is, but I mean uh, I'll ask Dickie when he gets back in what the guy what's the commotion about. What's up, Dicky? What's up? what is all that noise out there I heard going on, man? Uh yeah, the man that guy is just a for himself, I don't know. Yeah, I don't like this Timmy guy, but he he says we can hey, we can drop it off at a certain location. But, hey, did he have uh, any weed, man? No, he didn't have no weed. What do you Typical mean? What drug? What, drug, what, what I, do you I mean? know, right? It, he ain't got no fucking weed. He said we got to go to the medical place down in the middle. But he's a, he's, a, not, he's a drug dealer, right? That's what I said. Well, you go tell him yourself that he ain't got no fucking weed. I mean, I don't. I, wanna, told him. I mean, I don't want to get out of the car, but that's fucked up, though. No, I know. Yeah, I mean, you could just yell at the window at him. Hey, roll my window down for me in the back. I don't. I don't get the option. Hang on, man. Yeah. Yeah, they got the child safety windows back here, and only the front guy could do it. Which is weird because it's got the roll down handles. It's with that, I don't know. Technology, right? Yeah, he'll let his ass. Hey, man, you don't get no fucking weed. That's fucking bullshit. Fuck you. We're going to go down to the dispensary. All right, you can roll back up, bro. And uh, he said, have a little taste of this stuff. Though. I'm, I'm about to test it out, my guy. So hold on. Give me a second. All right, man. I'm gonna duck down a little because I don't want to be seen, man. There's one of each baggy, man. It's not too much. So just All right. say let and let him know how it tastes. All right, roll my window, man. Okay. I did. Uh, not on my screen. Uh, on mine, man, it is. Maybe roll it back down or roll it back up. Uh, both of the windows are down back here. Rolled up on mine, man. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go to the front, man. Cause this ain't legit in my eyes. Well, be, be careful, man. Got to be careful around these parts, man. You sure do, man. 
Alright, I tried one of the baggies. Now I'm gonna try the 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 XTC and then I'm gonna try the Coke, but the first baggie was pretty good. Yeah, it's not called glass no more, man. It's called shatter. Oh yeah, shatter? We had that back in the day, man. But yeah, no, they're starting to bring bring it back. Yeah, we had that back in the day at Catchella, remember? Mm-hmm. I remember them times, man. Yeah, I missed the Party hard. I miss the seventies, man. Yeah. Alright, I took all the drugs and they're all fucking amazing, man. I feel fucking blitzed out of my mind, man. Oh, yeah, bit. Now we just gotta go to make it to this location and, uh, yeah, you know. Oh, shit. I oh, yeah. I can't see anything on my screen. I can't, I can't either, my, man. My, this shit's amazing. Yeah. Out of my out of my two eyeballs, I don't see anything. It's just blurry, and I'm seeing like I just, I, I'm seeing I things, man. Try, man. I'm, I'm seeing things, man. I'm it's just, fucking nice, man. Oh no, I'm having a flashback of the cops arresting me. No, oh, no. <laughs> the, the, the guy's chasing me again. I'm running. No, get away from me, man. Get away. Oh man. Whoa, 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 where are we? Oh, wait, wait a minute. We're in a car. What are we doing? Oh, wait, Dicky, how'd you get there, man? I've been here, man. Just calm down, man. Just, it, <sighs> it's all right, dude. <sighs> We've been together for the last eight hours, man. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're not going to jail, are we? Oh, no, 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 man. We're not okay. going to jail, man. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, these drugs are good, man. I'm telling you, man. Ugh, I just start freaking if out there for a minute. If you want some more, man, just let me know. I got some more. Uh, Why do we got an Uzi in the glove box, man? Where the fuck did that come from? That was what the laws gave me. They said that if I need something a little bigger, and I think that there's like some type of bullets or whatnot inside the, uh, you know, in the trunk or whatever. And they got like the suppressor thing on there. They said that they told me that if I'm gonna take this car out, I'm gonna I'm gonna need I'm gonna need anything that will protect me. That's why they gave me a little gun. But they threw that in there. They said that if it gets any more like spicier, they said that then I gotta put that gun away and grab this one because that gun ain't gonna do nothing for me. So I mean, technically, it's both of our guns if we need it, and I guess it's better than a pistol. But at least with the pistol, it's like I can hide it in my po my my pocket and stuff and whatnot. And they can't see it. I mean, I thought that was an undercover behind us, but I guess not. I mean, if so, I mean, what what are we, what are we gonna say? My name is instead of Mickey Flowers, man. We gotta come up with something that way you can say that you're my friend and you don't know where Mickey is and I'm someone else. Like, what would be a good name? You think? We're gonna go with Timothy Bowens, man. Timmy D. Bowens? Alright, my name's Timmy D. Bowens, man. Yeah. Wait, what year did I meet you? Like, 76, 75? Hey. What year did I meet you? Like, 76 or like, 75? Uh, we met in 74, man. Oh, yeah. No, 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 78. 78? Oh, yeah, Coachella, right? Yeah, seventy-eight Coachella. Yeah, that's where. That's hey, where man. Ah, uh, come on, man. Learn how to drive. We hit the green, bastard. Yeah, out of out of uh, out of context, right now. Why is someone uh, making like sitting there trying to like say that they want to go to the county? They need to quit doing that garbage. I don't know, man, but they need to figure this shit out, man. I'm just trying to have a good time. We got to drop off this stuff. We're not too far, actually. Yeah, it's good. So far, so good. I mean, hey, if we can make this, yeah, man. if we can make this a uh, day where like we don't have any interactions with the cops and make some money, and we can go back, hey, I'll, I'll take that. Yeah, man. I know, right? Yeah, it works out. Yeah, I mean. We, we don't gotta have to have interactions with the cops every time we're out, but, I mean, I hate when we do anyways, but, I mean, if we don't, hey, that's fine with me. I don't like talking to them anyways. And that just means that we had a successful day, and we made some money, and we didn't get bothered with. 
And I know Johnny, he's going to be happy when we go back and and throw all that money down on the table. He's gonna, he's going to be really happy, man. He's going to be like, you, you guys sold the stuff you and you guys got away scot free. He's going to be happy. He might he might he might give us a bigger cut. Said it was over by the movie theater. Unless it's behind the gas station. I mean, he didn't know. He didn't seem like he was a good drug dealer anyway. So it didn't seem like he knew what he was doing. He didn't even have weed, man. Johnny? Well, no, no, the guy that gets all this weed. Oh, the guy I got it from? Man. He seemed like an asshole, man. He seemed like an I asshole. This guy. He probably gave you the wrong location. He probably, I mean, he's not a good drug dealer. He doesn't got weed. Like, what drug dealer doesn't have weed? You're selling all the other shit. Like. Whoa, just be careful, bro. Be right back, man. All right. It's not that lady. I don't know where that guy is, man. What the fuck? Maybe I could go around back and see something. I don't know where this guy went, man. Why are the windows down in the back? Are they still down? Yeah, see? That's why I moved to the front, man, and jumped through the seat, because they're down, man. Or I'd still be sitting back there. How about now? Nah, they're, they're still down, but I'm in the front, so I don't care. What was my, what about, what was my name again? Timmy what? I don't know. Timothy. Timothy. Tim, oh, that's probably the guy right there. Hey, yeah, that probably is him. Timothy Owens, I think. Oh, yeah, Timothy Owens. Yeah, that's my name, man. Timothy Owens. Let's see. I'm gonna look hey, are you, are, are you Jake? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. T yeah Timmy, Timmy, yeah, whatever. I was told to drop off some of this stuff to you and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. So, wait, wait, wait. Where do I... Where do I go from here? So, yeah. No. No. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, wait. Way down there? Oh, oh. Well, alright. Uh, okay. And how much? Oh! That's a lot of money. Are, are you sure? You, for real? Alright. What's going on, man? Uh, we gotta go down to the port, man. Oh, uh, okay. That's fine. Way down there, but As long as we drive safe and we don't break any rules, we'll be fine. Look at that, man. Oh, yeah. I destroyed that in the back seat. Yeah. I put it in the back seat. There's a bag back there. All right. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, uh, she's taking a nap. 
I think, I think, I think. <laughs> yeah, I, she's I, taking a nap, all right. Yeah, after you got done talking to the guy, I saw her just walk right past you and she bought some. So she must have took you instantly and knocked the fuck out, man. Oh, man, she probably got some of that hardcore drugs. Yep, she sure did. Yes, here. All right, go ahead, bro. Yeah, but we could fill up and whatnot, but yeah, if we don't get pulled over by the police or whatever in this video, that's fine with me. Yeah, as long as we don't get pulled over and searched or anything. Because basically we left the place and we got the drugs from Johnny, we we took it, mm -hmm. we went and picked them up, we sold the drugs, we, and now we're going to the port, and we'll do whatever we do at the port, and if we make it back to fucking the fucking hideout, fucking cool. Mm -hmm. But if we do get into interactions mm -hmm. with cops and they do bring my name before whatnot, yeah, then it's gonna escalate. As long as nobody dies. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. I mean, if he dies, I guess Mickey Jr. will be the donor character and Senior goes away, I guess. Or he's in the hospital for a while. Yeah, or he's in the hospital, yeah. But hopefully it don't come down to that, but okay. Alright, so now where are we going? You said the port? Yeah, we gotta go to the port, man. Alright, that's fine. So far, it's been a quiet day. Hopefully it stays quiet like it's been. Yeah, I know, man. Slide off in? Yes, please. Yeah, turn to us. Actually, pull over real quick. Go ahead. Oh, uh, not on my eyes. Not on my screen. This guy gave some better stuff. I heard. About to try it, man. See how good this stuff is. Hey, let me know. Oh, I just, I just, I just took the coke, man. Oh my God, man, it is better than the other shit, bro. <laughs> oh, you, you give me two bags? Oh, hell yeah! I'm gonna take both of them right now, man. Ah. Oh. Yeah, there you go, man. Take an overload of that shit. I'm gonna take as much as I can, man, because like I've been having it rough living there and trying to stay away from the cops and whatnot. Fucking assholes trying to trump me up with charges and now I'm gonna try the XTC. Oh yeah, man. I can't see anything in front of me, man. Where are we? We're in the city, man. I know that. I just oh, I know where we're at. We're at the place. I got. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what, that, that, that's what I, I got arrested right there. Yeah. And you took off running that way. You yeah. said Marcus is down there. Yeah, he lives in like in the area where it's got like the the moat surrounding all the houses. Oh. Okay, man, I'm gonna have to go visit him. So, man. Yeah, maybe maybe like when we return and like and we get back from the we go back to the lost later and then like they let us come out again and they keep us in protection for a while but then let us come out and adventure again and maybe we can meet him up and do it like we did in the old days and get some stuff off him and try to go sell it and make some money man but we can't get caught like when we did in front of Ace Liquor man I didn't even know that there was cops in that vehicle when they showed up. I didn't either, man. I did. I was. I was just in the like the A's liquor, and I was. I was just got done like standing outside selling. Like five or six people showed up, and then like I went in, and then I didn't know where you was, but then you came back in the building, and you said that there was a car there, and I told you like it was like looking through me at the uh, glass windows, but then when it see, saw me see the vehicle, like it kind of backed up, trying to be like where I can't see it and whatnot. Then we walked outside, and then like I heard you yell over there, like they said something about calling for backup or something, and then like. Like, I was gonna run or whatnot, but then all of a sudden they had me at gunpoint and told me to put my fucking hands up, man. I 
And I, I, I was I was a little upset because I'm like, what did I do, man? I didn't do anything. And then they, then the, then they arrested me for it. Like I had a small bag amount of weed, even the officer said that to me. But I still got arrested and had to do community service to you, man. Right, I mean, no, yeah, it was definitely some bullshit, man. Yeah, I should have never been arrested, and you should never have had this warrant right now, man. No, I, that's why we gotta, gotta be careful. And, and we live in a legal state where I can smoke. I was stressed, we man. He just smoke, took, he, man, this bullshit. I know he took my home away. He probably crushed it. It's probably it's probably crushed into a million pieces probably right gone now. Gone now, man. It's probably gone. Same as mine. Mine's probably gone too. The only, I don't even know where the my only, van is. The only van I got left, my son has, and I can't get in the contact to him because if I do, then he's gonna probably go to jail because he'll probably be a blabbermouth and tell the cop that yeah I was I'd in. Snitch on you, man, he, because you got a fucking warrant. Well, one of those lost guys told me something uh, when I was talking to him because, the, like, they kind of mentioned my son asking questions, but they didn't tell me what. But they basically like told me that my son's asking uh, cops questions about me, and he was asking a cop like, "If he harbors a fugitive, is that like him going to be going to jail or whatnot?" He was like asking questions about harboring me or something. Like, I'm nowhere near him, and I'm, I'm pretty sure like he would probably get pulled over in a heartbeat. And then after he gets pulled over, he'd probably tell the cops like, "Yeah, I just got, I just talked to my dad like earlier, and he was at my house, and like you can't, you can't say stuff like that, especially with someone's wanted, man, with a warrant." Because then that's basically telling the cops like, "Yeah, the guy with a warrant." He's at he's at my house and he's back in town, man. But technically, how that scene went down today when the cop trimmed you with those fake charges, technically I should have been the one that got arrested, man. I was the one smoking. You were sober, man. Yeah, cause I mean, well, I mean, you you, you came down I from was your driving, high. You came back from was your driving, high, and, and you. You were smoke high from earlier, but not a lot. Yeah. Not enough to fucking go to jail. And but and this guy wanted to be an asshole. And he said that you were splurring your speech or something like that? It's normal. It this is, is normal, normal for me, man. Did, yeah, this is how we talk, man. Discrimination we, at its finest. It's not our fault that we did drugs and our voices sound like this now. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, we chose that life, I guess. I keep on getting freaked out time to time when I look back and I see like those like those like nice fancy like front lights in the front not the yellow ones because it reminds me of, like a cops coming behind us I think they're called like Exxon lights or something like that Z9 man something like that yeah something like that I don't know I'm just used to like the standard yellow ones I got for my van man Although I don't got a van no more. I mean, I got my old one that we had back, like my very first one I bought back in the day. But I mean, I don't want to mm -hmm. be. I don't want to be a dick and take it away. I mean, I know it's under my name and whatnot, but I don't want to be a dick and take it away from him. Cause then I then I was just basically telling him, yeah, you know that van I gave you, son. Well, yeah, I want it back. Yeah, kind of. All right. Oh, I ain't got no food, man. You got any food on you? Oh, yeah, you need some food? I got you, my yeah, man. Yeah, man, I'm really needing some food right now. Yeah, I'm gonna throw it in the glove box. You just go, you just go grab it, man. I'll get you some sandwiches and some water, man. Is it in there? It should be in there. Oh, sweet. There you go, man. Yeah, that tastes better, man. It tastes good. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, apparently the Vagos also told me, not the Vagos, mean the lost. They told me that when my son was asking questions, apparently, like, he was so worried about me and whatnot that, like, he wasn't drinking or eating anything and he was starved himself and not drinking anything and he passed it at the will when a cop is talking to him or whatnot. I mean, I don't think that was a smart idea for him to do that, but, I mean, I get it. He's wondering where his pops is. Like, he's, he's nervous. He's scared, man. 
You know where you're going, bro? Yeah, man. I'm just hungry right now. I'm not trying to, like, eat and drive at the same time. Oh, oh I feel you. Yeah, it's hard to keep control of the wheel and whatnot. I did that the other day. I was, I was, I was drinking my bottle of water, and I lost control of the wheel and almost went head on with someone, man. Yeah, man, you just got to watch out for stuff like that. Yeah, so now I'm a little bit more careful. I just, like, pull over or whatnot, you know? Yeah. I had Even, like, texting and driving, man. But I don't have a cell phone no more, man. Yeah, so. I don't got a cell phone either. Those fucking cops took it away. And then when I got out of jail, I asked for it back. And one of the officers said, I never asked, I never took a phone from you. Like, we're checking your bags right now. And all you got is the clothes that you came on your back. I said, no, I had an ID. They're like, no, you don't have no ID. There's no phone. I'm like, I had that on me. Like, and, I, and then they're like, no, you didn't have that on you. I'm like, and really? My phone? They're like, nope, there's no phone in here. And then I literally heard another cop vaguely tell tell that cop straight to his face yeah we got his phone but we're not going to take it back because we're going to hope that one of his drug dealers fucking message you know we can get like some insight and i said that's fucked up i heard you and he was like he, he literally told me he was like my body camera's off there's no cameras in this room so where's your proof fucking asshole Oh, this is the place right here? Yeah, man. He said it was down at the docks, the last one. Oh, yeah, there's the guy. Hey, right, we'll get this park right here. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure there ain't nobody around, so if you want to get some fresh air, man. Yeah, I'm going to get some fresh air. There's, there should be no one around here. I'll come, I'll come with you and make the sale and whatnot. Let the guy know us. I mean, hey, we we may, we may be working yeah. for them for a while. Yeah, Jake's tent. Yeah, first we talked to Timmy, then we talked to Jake. Now we're talking to, uh, what's this? Yeah, Robbie. Robbie is his name. Oh yeah, I was in the car searching around and I found this alligator scarf. It's made out of alligator, bro. It feels soft. Oh no shit. Yeah, I threw it on. I'm like, hell yeah. No shit. That's it'll cover up it'll, <laughs> it'll cover me up a little. What's up, man? What's going on? You Robbie. Yeah, man. This is my buddy Mickey. What's up? Or, man? I mean, uh what what's uh, what uh Timmy. Timmy is the name. Oh yeah, yeah, my name's Timmy. <laughs> They, they call him Mickey, but that was my that was, yeah, that was my nickname when I was a kid. But uh, my real name's yeah, Tim. Like like Mickey Mouse, man, because he used to be small. Yeah, I used to watch Mickey Mouse in the day when I was a kid, yeah. and they called me Mickey yeah. Mouse. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, just started singing at him and shit. But plus, yeah, plus, you know. plus, I had the weed when I was young because my dad used to smoke it and I'd steal it from him. So they used to call me Mickey Sticky. Mm hmm. Mickey Sticky. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah let's show me shit. Shut up. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, I, I got so, uh, uh, Robbie, what's 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 the what's the next location from here, or, or are we done for the day? Cause uh, we've gone through all uh, all the locations in the city. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, 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 yeah, we've been through. <sighs> No, yeah, no, we can't go back to Ace Liquor no more. We're, we're we're too hot over there, man. Okay, grape grape seed. Uh huh. And Polito. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We might have to pass today. Today, man. I I, I think we might have to. To to uh, just call it a day. I think Johnny's calling, man. He said he wants us to come back after we make this sale. He wants to come. He wants us to come back, or should do you think we should go get more and try to go to Sandy or Polito or something? He said that. He said that it, it's Sunday and we need to return. He said that we uh, could okay. we, right. we could well, venture out well, another day. Well, give me give me Johnny's money, man. He said uh, he's he, he, he's gonna want it now, man. Yeah, and don't don't get me on that bullshit. 
because no Johnny told me this guy should be good for the money he'll give it to us but he also told me that we got to get back because I guess they got to go help some vagos out something about I mean he didn't tell me too much of the story he just said that they're after an officer named Cam I, I don't know man so ba ba uh, <laughs> are you sure are you sure that's that's the amount wow all right man all right buddy be safe yeah, but he said we got to come back and, and then we got to hide out there for a while and they're going to lock up the place and keep us safe and whatnot with food and all that and the weed and coke and all that. But basically they said something about like Vagos members and killing a cop or something, something about they took people away and I guess the Vagos and the laws that working together and whatnot. I told him it's none of my business or whatnot, but I mean, you know, but yeah, I, I just basically told them the story and whatnot, you know. But he said if we bring all this money back and we don't get caught by the cops, he said that he's going to have a good payout for us. But this is already a nice payout right now, man. Well, of course. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Also in the glove box, I found another uh, weed vape in there. It's full, man. You can have your own, and I got mine right here if you want one. I'm being, I'm being, I was, I was also told on the phone, oh, yeah. Nice. But I was also told on the phone by Johnny that they've been listening to the police radio, and they say that it's pretty quiet out here in the city, so we should be fine to get back. He said, if we have any problem, give him a call, and he said that we also got those guns, by the way, too. Oh, yeah, I get it. Man. <laughs> this is still good stuff, man. <laughs> oh, some of that chatter, man. Yeah. Oh, hold on. I think my Bluetooth and my uh, earpiece is ringing that Johnny gave me. What's that, Johnny? Mm -hmm. What's that, Johnny? Oh, yeah, we're on our way back right now. Yeah, we're, we're driving. Oh, wait, you got a GPS in the car? We're not driving? Oh, you see it moving a little? Uh, okay, we're, we're, we're leaving, okay? We're on our way back. All right. I, I'm going to let him know. Hey, Dicky, I'm, I'm, I got the little earpiece he gave me just in case I need to get... We we need to leave. Apparently, that drug dealer has got a problem with someone else, and he's sending some guys with guns. We need to get out of here, man. We're out. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to be around, and they think that we had something to do with that guy and whatnot. Because, uh, yeah, Johnny's telling me on the phone right now. He said they will take our money because they're after him and they want him out of the drug business. Oh shit. Yeah. So yeah, we need to get back and give him his money, man. Don't forget. Don't forget the lights to turn on. Even though it's a little quiet in the city, he said, but. You never know. Hey, right, Johnny. Yep, yep. We're on our way back. Yep, you see us on the computer screen moving. Yep. Oh yeah, that that's good that you got a view of uh I a view I bird of me. Like, well, not like really like, see what we're doing, but like see where we're moving and whatnot. Cause you got the tracker in there. Yeah. It's gonna be if we if we could stop for some weed first, man. Hey, can we stop for some weed? Yeah, he said we could stop with some weed. He said that it's yeah, pretty man. cool. He said I, pro I, pro I promise we'll still be back. Uh, I'm not gonna fuck anything up. Yeah, he said he said he said he promises we'll be back. All right. Yeah. He, okay. It's pretty quiet out here still. All right. Yeah. He said we can go. He's gonna keep a track on us. And he said that we got two hours to make it back, or he's gonna be sending some people looking for us, man. Yeah, but we'll, we'll be back. I'm sure we will, man. We will. We got we got two hours. We'll make it back in yeah. two hours. Oh, I should probably put it on my seatbelt, man. Oh, yeah. That's, that's the first thing I do when I get in the car now.
the other the other day I picked up this crazy lady. Her name's like Lolly Pockets or something like that. And like she was in my car, man. And like it, I don't know, she she was doing some crazy things, man. Being like very very very. Ooh. I don't know her. I like I don't know. I was at the gas station the other day because like I'm still on the run and whatnot. But I was at the gas station and I told her I really couldn't like do anything with her or whatnot. And I had to. I, I was I was in here to get like cause literally I went in the gas station to get some food and like you gotta understand I got a warrant for my arrest. So like when I'm out and about, even though I got like a new get up on and whatnot, like I gotta I gotta get my shit and get the fuck out of there. Like. So, right. So yeah, she, yeah, man. So like her name, I don't know what her name. Uh, like she says something about her name's like Lolly or, or like Lolly Pockets. Like and then like she kept on repeating herself. She sounded crazy to be honest with you. And then when I asked her if she was crazy, she was like, "So what? You're telling me I'm crazy? You, you think you think I'm crazy? What are you a doctor? You you trying to say I'm crazy?" And I'm like, I don't know. You keep on repeating the same like question over and over and over. Like she asked me what my name was like ten times. I asked her if she's on drugs. She said no. And I said, and then I said, well, there might be something wrong with you. And she was like, so you're saying there's something wrong with me? I said no. I said there. I'm not. I mean, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not saying there's something wrong with you. Just, you keep on repeating yourself, lady. And then we like we went to the gas station and whatnot. And then like literally like I saw the pumps explode and literally the pumps explode. But she was like there with a bunch of jackasses like in a bunch of sports cars and like she was drinking gasoline sitting there and they were making fun of her and whatnot and then like literally they start pouring the gasoline in her mouth and they were t filming for their ictox and i said whoa i'm like lady what are you doing she's like i'm drinking and she's like i'm drinking gasoline she was like she's like go, go. i'm like that's not I and mean, i got scared and I, I left and to be honest with you i mean i went to a payphone since i don't got a phone and they can't trace the payphone and i called the cops and had the cats come there apparently like they found her and like they arrested her and then like a bunch of the sports cars drove off and whatnot but hey, i got out of there because as i said i got a warrant out for my arrest man but i was i was just kind of nervous because like a lady was drinking gasoline man kind of crazy man yeah it's kind of crazy what happened to your window over there man did my it's fine for me man okay, uh, okay. You sure, man? Yeah, it, the car looks legit. The only, the only thing that I see in my vision is uh, you got a headlight out in the front and the right. Yeah, hey, I, I noticed that. I don't know what happened there, man. But it's okay. Like, Johnny told me in the Bluetooth piece he gave me, like, it's pretty quiet out here, so we should be fine. Oh, okay. We just got to make it and get some weed and get back. I, I think a half an hour has went by so far. Yeah, it's been about 20 minutes, man. Yeah, about like 20 minutes or half an hour. But, I mean, he said it's pretty quiet out here. So, I guess, I mean, no cop, no stop, I guess. I mean, fuck those cops. Probably trying to trump us up with charges. They pull us over anyways. Yeah, hey. they're always on some bullshit, man. Yeah. Never fail. Like, say we never went to jail and say we were at, say that we were at, like, uh, your sister's house. And even though, like, things were getting better, but, I mean, I'm probably not going to get better because she probably thinks I'm in jail again and she's tired of me going to jail and whatnot. That's why I live in the van and whatnot. But, I mean, if things get better, I'll move in the house. But, I mean, yeah, I mean, say we're, you're at your sister's house and whatnot. We were leaving there. Like, as soon as we pull out of the driveway, I guarantee you, as soon as we pull onto the road, you would hear the cops saying go off, and then they pull us over and trump up, up with charges, even though we just left the driveway. They're fucking assholes, that's why. Believe it. Yeah, it's kind of quiet out here in the city, man. Yeah, that's why he said that. He said he told me to tell you no cop, no step. He said that the police presence and the radios like gotten quiet out here for some reason. Oh, hold on, I think the phone's ringing again. Uh, 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 hello, uh, hello. Johnny, yeah, yeah, we're almost at, we're almost at the weed shop, man. Yeah, we're we're like really close. Like I remember this area. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, that's why the police prison got. Oh, uh, I, 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 hold on. I let him. Yeah, he said the police prisons got quiet out here. I guess. Uh, I guess uh, the police uh, it's been getting threat. Uh, well, he's not going to tell me the full story, but he told me he told me something about I could tell you something about the police getting threatened, and I guess they're uh, all uh, they all are like on like high alert right now, and I guess like they got like security and they got other cops and. I guess they're protecting this officer named Cam right now. Like, he's under, like, full surveillance watch. Oh, shit. I don't know who this officer Cam is, but, I mean, he must have did something fucked up to get, like, people wanting to come after him. Yeah, that's gotta be some crazy shit, man. I feel bad for that officer, even though I don't like cops, but still. Yeah, I mean, but, I mean, he probably did something to deserve this. I mean... Yeah, Johnny, we're, uh, we're we're stopping at the weed stop now. All right, Johnny, we're at the weed shop, and then we're going to grab our weed and be on the way home. All right. I'll, I'll see you when I get there, yeah? Yeah, all right. I know. Go up, go back upstairs. Oh, yeah. Yep. yep, all right. We will. All right. Later, Johnny. All right, he said once we buy it, just go back, and we can go upstairs and whatnot. Hey, what up, Ricky? You got the sticky? Oh, uh, yeah, you do? Oh, yeah. You got joints? What? Can I have a... Can I have a... Uh, can I have a pack of... Uh, the, the... The skunk? Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah, like the sacred pack. Yeah, the 12? Yeah, I'll take 12 of them. Yeah, I know. We gotta be careful. This shit's not fucking legit. And then, can I have just, like, one bag for later of uh, the, the... The skunk, man? Yeah. Nah, I'll take I'll take I'll take like a pack of papers, bro. Need the purple haze, man. He's got some that skunk, and we've already got some OG Kush at yeah. the crib, man. All right, Ricky, I got what I want. See you later, Ricky Sticky. No, my name's not Mickey Flowers, man. That 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 guy doesn't exist right now. You call me by Timmy. Fucking asshole. Blurt my name out in public. Fucking piece of shit. I told him when I was hiding out at Marcus's and I came here and picked up, I said, You can't be saying my name, bro. I'm not, my name's not Mickey right now. I gave him a fake name, a different name the other day, but my name's Timmy today. That's all he needs to know, and that's all he needs to say. Like, you need to shut up. Like, one of these locals could have looked and said, Wait a minute, I saw that guy in the news and he's wanted. Hey, like, fuck that. Fucking assholes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna smoke me some of my. I'm gonna smoke me a joint out of this uh, cigarette pack. I love that they do that now. Give 12 joints in a cigarette pack. I need to hit the gas station, man. I'm gonna need some gas before we can even head back. Yeah, there's gotta be one somewhere around here. I mean, me and you are used to the county, but I mean, now that I'm wanted, I gotta stay out here in the city because the county, they'll find me too quick out there. They know all my locations yeah, where man. I hang out. Apparently, that's what the loss is telling me. And my son kept on trying to go to the locations that me and you used to hang out. Like, and, the, and for apparently, one of the lost members said he kept on driving past the Ace Liquor a lot. And he said that a lot of people were getting skeptical and worried around there. And, and he told me that my son almost got shot one time. Damn, man. Yeah, I mean, I mean, he's driving around in places he shouldn't be keep on driving around. Because then you got people that, why is his car keep on coming around the block like that? See if you can fill her up, man. Yeah, I'm gonna fill her you up. You gotta go inside and take a piss. Alright, sounds good, man. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna fill her up. It's food. Hey, 
Hey, what's up, man? What's your name? Your name's your name's Bobby. Oh, you work at a mechanic shop. Oh, you got a spare headlight in there. You want to replace it? I got ten bucks on me. That's that. You'll take that? Oh well. Well, here you go, man. Here's the ten bucks. Yeah, this replace her real quick. Oh, you can fix those sticky windows in the back. Yeah, they won't roll up. I keep on trying to roll those like spinning things around, whatever they're called. They won't go. And it, it, it. oh, you got it. All right. Thanks, man. Thank. Ah, oh, thank you, man. It, it looks brand new again. Ah, uh, thanks, man. All right, later, man. I'm gonna fill up the car, and then me and my buddy are gonna be heading back home. Look familiar? No, I don't look familiar. What are you talking about? Nah, that's someone else. My name, my name's Timmy, man. Oh, yeah, Timmy. Yeah, Timmy Jenkins. Yeah. Oh, uh -huh. thanks, man. Yeah, I'll, I'll stop by your shop one of these days. Where, where, where are you located at? Oh, on Route 68 in the county? Oh, yeah. I haven't been in the county in a while. I ain't gonna be back there for a while, to be honest with you. No, 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 no nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. I just, I, I, I'm enjoying the city, man. There's a lot to explore. All right. All right, later, man. I gotta get ready to go with my buddy. You'll be trying to make you quick. Let's see if I can do that. Well, man, hey, and the local asked kind of a lot of questions. So you gotta be careful. I forget. I got a warrant. I can't be standing outside so much. People asking all these questions, man. But hey, he fixed our headlight for us. D Dickie's gonna come out and be happy. You see that the headlights fixed and the windows got rolled back up. What's up, man? Someone fixed the windows and the headlight for us, man. Sweet, man. That's nice. Yeah, he got the back. Uh, apparently, uh, uh, the 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 handles for the windows in the back they well, uh, they were jammed, and and he, he just unloosened the screw a little, and now they spin around just fine. Oh, nice. Yeah, he told me uh, like if I make some money and come back, he said he could take care of this rust for me. Yeah, if I if I want to keep this vehicle, and he said that he could find me a radio and stuff to put in there, and he'll put like a heating, like because there's no AC or nothing here right now. Like if you look at the dash, it's all ripped out. But I mean, I noticed, man. I tried to like play with the wires and whatnot, and <laughs> there's nothing in there. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they just bought like a cheap hunkered vehicle to get me to point A and B, and then they made the guy, uh, none other than Arden Willie Long, uh, sign this car in his name. And I don't know the guy, but I mean, hey. He gave me this car, and as I said, I think he was like bullied into getting this by the loss. But I mean, it's, not, it's none of my it's none of my business. I'm not asking. I, I got a car, and they're they're letting me adventure out, and they got like a tracking device on here watching me, making sure I'm safe. So I mean, I I appreciate them. They don't got to do this. They could have just ratted me out and said that. Yeah, the guy that were you guys are looking for, well, he's right here, man. Uh, and Marcus paid him some pretty good money, and I, I, I guess I didn't even know Marcus was good with the lost. But I guess like they're good buddies. Like he knew him. They hugged each other. Yeah, yeah, that's what he told me before, man. Uh, he he knows Johnny pretty well. I guess him and Johnny go way back. Actually, he said he knew the lost from that old guy named Clay. Uh, or uh, Billy. Billy was his name. Oh yeah, Billy was, yeah. Billy was the old president. Or yeah, whatever. but uh, apparently I heard the. Uh, apparently, like he was trying to take over like the lost, and I guess there was a member in there that didn't take too kindly of it. And apparently, yeah. apparently, son of I saw in the news uh, that well, he's dead now, but his house got burned down. Yeah, Brian. I read about that shit. His name is Brian. Yeah, that was back in Liberty City. I saw. And they were yeah. and they were broadcasting it on the news out here, so it must have been yeah, like man. It, it must have been a big ordeal, man. That's why Johnny moved out here. Yeah, exactly. I would have done the same thing, to be honest with you. I I heard Liberty City was bad. I mean, I I mean, I was in Vice City for a while. I like Vice City, but maybe one of these yeah, days. Yeah, man, it's nice. It's nice out there. Yeah, maybe one of these days we'll go to back to Vice City, but. <laughs> But this is a nice city too, Los Angeles. This is nice. It's pretty big, man. Oh yeah, California's huge, man. And just the city, just the city of Los Angeles is fucking huge. Hey, make like make a left and go make a left and go up that hill right there. I turn around. Uh, wait. What? Oh wait, never mind. I thought we were in. A, oh yeah, we're trying to go to the lost, right? Yeah, it's up here. 
Well, the casino is on the bridge up in front of us. Yeah, I know, but it, it, it's having oh. me route this way. Oh, yeah, I was going to have you go up the other hill on the other side. It's all good. It's the same way, I guess. Uh, this city's confusing, man. Yeah, I know, man. I don't know the way. I just... They put a little GPS in here, and it just beeps which way I gotta go left, go right, go straight. S see, I don't, so got, I don't got that GPS for the same reason. Yeah, I mean, that's what Johnny gave me as I was directed the orders while I was changing and shit. Oh, yeah, see, I, I don't got, I don't got that. My GPS, I, like... Even even if I'm driving, it, even though he installed one for the vehicle, it, it doesn't work for me. But everyone else seems to be having GPS. I just don't got one. But it's no, it's no worries for me because I don't know how to use it anyways. Fucking technology hitting all these buttons and then some piece of like robot or whatever's in the fucking machine sitting there. Turn left and then turn around and then I turn around and then I get pulled over and the cop said well, why did you turn around you can't turn around I'm like I'm just listening to the GPS it told me to turn around hey I, I know I know I know it's probably illegal or whatnot but I'm just listening like like literally there was one time on the highway like you know they got the, the dividers and it disappears and I see cops do it all the time. It literally said, turn around. I made sure there was no cars coming. And I turned around. And I, as soon as I started picking up speed, a cop pulled behind me. He said, what are you doing, man? I said, what are you talking about? I turned around. He's like, yeah, that was illegal. I'm like, I'm just doing what my GPS told me, man. Yeah, he's like, and he, he tried to trump me up saying, what well, the GPS tell you to jump off a bridge? You're going to jump off a bridge? I said, probably not, but if I'm driving and it's supposed to give me directions and it says turn around, I'm going to listen to it, man. Yeah, Johnny just said, park the, uh, back the vehicle back up. He said, back it up. That way it's easy to drive out if we ever need to drive it out. He said, when we come in, we can go in the little room over there, and we can give him the money. I told him you got it in the trunk, and some of it's in the back seat. It's all in the back seat, and the, the rest of the access stuff is in the trunk. He said he wanted some stuff, and then he said he wanted, uh, uh, wanted the money. All right, I got the money from the back seat, man. You just got to grab the stuff from the back. Knock knock. It's Mickey Sticky, man. Yeah. We got the stuff. Come in. Alright. What up, Johnny? What up, man? Yeah. So we got a lot of money here. Um, I'm not sure how much is it. It's a lot. I'm just going to lay it down on the table. There you go, man. Yep, it's right there. Yep, right there. There you go. And he's even, yeah, I put some of the money over there too. And I, he's putting some of the packaging and whatnot down. Yep, he's putting it right there for you. Yep, there you go, Johnny. All right, well, there you go. How much are you going to give us? You're going to give us 20 G's? No, 25. Okay. You're going to lay it on the table? Okay. I'll take 25 G. Alright, yep. Yep, I'm, I'm gonna go put it upstairs in the little spot you told me that's mine. Alright, yep. And then, what would you guys say? Send about a cop? Oh, that's too much information. Alright, man. Well, I don't know what you guys are gonna do, but you guys are gonna keep us safe in here, right? And you're gonna lock us up again, and. Oh, yeah. Alright, sounds good to me. Yep. It's good to me. I won't leave until you guys tell us to, Johnny. Yep. We're going to go upstairs and we're going to smoke you high and drink some beer. Oh, a Angela's on the bar? Oh, it's it's not Erica no more? Oh, Angela? Oh, yeah. Dickie's going to fall in love with her. Hey, Dickie, this girl named Angela's up there at the bar. You're definitely going to like her, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is she hot? Yeah, she's hot. She's a sweet talker, too. Let 
I'm just glad we made some money today. 25G, man, and we're back. We didn't go to jail. What a day, man. <laughs> Yeah, he told me. Uh, he told me to tell you that over here, the the one on the left, this little locker. That's your that's your little cubby hole where you can put your stuff. And the mine's on the right. I mean, smoke some weed and we're gonna party and have a good time. We made it back. So there we go, everyone. Mickey and Sticky. Mickey and Sticky got away with the icky. Indeed we did. We made 25 G's and Mickey did not get caught by any of the cops. And then... Don't pass the lady. Yep, so Mickey still runs for another day, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you all enjoyed mm -hmm. this episode here of Another Than VZ. No, LARP, everyone. LARP. It just got back from the 24-7 and whatnot. And I got me some food and something to eat. And I just ate it in my car. Now I'm going to be on the road. I got a hunch from some people. They told me that there's this biker club down at this, like, trailer park. They call it, they call it Crank Town because, like, everyone does crank over there and whatnot, you know. But, like, there's these people over there, man. And, like, basically they said that, like, they can help me find my dad and whatnot. So, like, I'm going to go over there and I'm going to see, like, what's what's up with it real quick. Because, like, I don't know where my dad's at. I mean, I, I, I've been, I've been like, hearing, like, things about, like, rumblings in the city that he may be out in the city still. But I, I, I don't know. I think my dad's out here. But I think the cops are fucking liars. Like, they're just trumping my dad up with charges and whatnot. Because, like, I heard on the news... Like, uh, I guess, like, someone got shot from, like, a Vagos member, like, uh, like a cop got shot, and apparently, like, they're trumping up charges with all these Vago members, and they're putting, like, things in their records or whatnot, and that's what they probably do to my dad, you know, they probably just go in there and, like, ah, uh, Mickey Sticky Flower Sr., okay, yeah, he's got, like, a pound of, uh, meth on him, he's got crank on him, like, he's got weed on him, and, like, his, his insurance, oh, it's valid now, it's, it, it, it's, it's unregistered, and they probably do that to, like, all of his stuff, oh, it's getting foggy out, man, it's getting really foggy out, but yeah, they probably trump him up with charges and whatnot, fucking that, they probably do it to my Uncle Dickie, too, they probably trump him up with charges, too, and they probably go, oh, Uncle Dickie is van impound, and then they go find him, like, I, I remember Uncle Dickie came over one time to my house, and he told me, like, he was just chilling with Mickey at, in front of his house. And then, like, the cops showed up, and then they had, like, some fake warrant. And then they arrested him. And then he uh, he said, well, where was the warrant from? And they tried saying something about, like, he was selling drugs. And, it, and like, it matches his description and whatnot. And, like, he, and, he, and I, I don't think Dickie sells drugs. Like, I, 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 I don't, I, my dad and Dickie don't do that type of stuff. Like, I don't believe in them doing that type of thing. and my mom she's an asshole she doesn't believe she doesn't believe that my dad's a good guy she thinks that she he's back in jail right now he's not in jail she probably doesn't want to get back together with them it's fucking bullshit because i want my family to be together it's just, my mom's a fucking asshole but i think i think it's up here i think i don't know yeah this, this is the crank town yeah this is crank town right up here man 
Oh yeah, here it is. The Lost. Yeah, this is the Lost Club. This is where they told me to go. They said that they might be able to help my dad out and whatnot. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go see if we can help my dad out. Let's go, let's go knock on the door. I mean, I, I don't know if I should just walk in or not. I think I'm gonna knock on the door real quick. I don't want to be rude. My, my mom always told me to have manners, you know. My dad would just say, hey, if the door's there, oh, it's unlocked. But I'm going to knock. I'm going to have a courtesy, man. Hello? Hello? Knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. Is anyone there? Hello? Mickey Sticky Flurries Jr. I'm trying to find my dad. Hello? I was told you guys could help me out. Hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk in, okay? Hello? Hello? Is anyone here? Hello? Hello, bartender? Anyone Anyone here? Oh, do, oh, wait. Oh, wait. There's a back room in here. What's in that back room? I don't know. Should I walk back there? Yeah, I'm gonna walk back here. Hello? Hello? Excuse me? Oh, hey, guys. Excuse me? <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? I put my hands up, okay? Okay. I, I'm looking for my dad. I'm Mickey Sticky Flares Jr. Yeah. What's your hands down? Okay, I put my hands down. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Fuck around and find out. What? Okay, okay, I'll, I'll leave him alone. No, I don't want to fuck around and find. No. Yeah, I'm telling the truth. I don't want to fuck around and find out. What's gonna happen, man? No, 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 don't, no, please, please, no, please, no, I don't, no, I'm just looking for my dad, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna fuck around and find, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm not, I, I promise I won't, I promise I won't, I won't fuck around, I promise I won't. I promise. No, I promise. No, I, I won't do it, I promise. I'm sorry. No, please, no, don't rub me up. I, I, I'm not gonna snitch, no. I'm, I'm not a snitch. My dad taught me better. I'm not a snitch, man. I'm just looking for my dad. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna shut up. I'm not. Okay, I'm not gonna fuck around. I'm done. Okay. I, I promise I won't. No. Okay, I promise. No, no, I won't. I won't fuck around to find out, man. Okay, man. Oh man, I'm getting the fuck out of here. I'm sorry, guys. And I'm not going to fuck around to find out. I'm not going to fuck around to find out. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I won't fuck around to find out. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to leave. I'm just going to leave, man. I'm not going to fuck around to find out. I'm just, I'm, I'm just going to, I'm just going to leave, man. I'm going to go home. I'm just going to go home. I'm not going to tell mom. I'm just going to stay quiet. I know they got my dad now, but they told me if I fuck around, I don't, I don't want to get roughed up, man. I'm, I, I'm just sorry, man. Okay, I'm leaving. I know that they, they opened the door to watch me leave right now. Okay, I'm out of here. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I, I won't fuck around. I promise.
Yeah, I miss my dad, man. I, well, I hope they don't do nothing bad to him. They, they seem like bad people, man. My, my mom might be right. He might be going back. I hope he doesn't go back to jail, man. I miss my dad coming around in his nice new van that he got. And he gave me his old one right there that I'm driving. I miss my dad, man. I hope he's all right. I, I, I hope he's doing all right. I hope they don't tell my dad that I went there trying to talk and, like, cause some problems, man. Like, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to cause any problems, Dad. I'm sorry, Dad. I don't want to cause any problems. I was just trying to find out. They told me if I fuck around and find out that they're, they're gonna come, they're gonna hurt me, man. I'm just gonna go home. I'm, I'm, I'm done.